Moving into the circular scanning millimeter wave radar. This is more the Matrice 300 RTK, content, can detect thin obstacles like wires, power lines, and branches to improve overall flight safety. You can attach it to the drone via the upward gimbal point through four built-in screws, and it connects to the drone. You can see a cable there via the PSDK port. If you've used an upward gimbal before, it's the same attachment procedure where it has the built-in screws, maybe 20, 30 seconds to put it on, take it off, a very easy to do. You can also see it fits in the case there in slot five, right between where the two remote controllers go. Quick te technology intro here, radar stands for radio detection and arranging, but ultimately radio waves are sent out from the circular scanning millimeter wave radar, and when they reflect off an object, the waves return to the receiver, providing locational information of whatever was detected, aka whatever the waves have bounced off of and are returning to the radar. It's not reliable upon daylight, thus it can be used for nighttime operations. Just showing here what exactly the pilot app interface looks like. You'll see an R in the middle of the horizontal obstacle display when powering the aircraft on with the circular scanning millimeter wave radar attached. The R is going to be red when it's turned off and green when it's turned on. Uh, turning on and off is referring to the radar itself. So you'll see in the next slide, you have the option to turn the radar on and off. That's in the obstacle sensing settings. So just where you'd normally adjust the vision system, there's a toggle button to turn the radar on or off. You can use both of them at the same time or just one. And then the concept of setting these distances uh, remains the same. Breaking distance is going to be shown as red, warning is yellow, and then detections outside the set, set distance are gonna show as green. When we're talking about breaking distance here, uh, the drone is going to stop when it reaches a breaking distance. So in this example, if it detects an obstacle at 14 feet, the drone will stop. And recommend with the circular scanning millimeter wave radar, the CSM for short, to have that being at least 8.2 feet. Warning distance, the RC is gonna start slowly beeping, so that would be anything within 60 feet, uh, judging by the current settings on the right. And then if there's a detection at 61 feet, there wouldn't be any notification. You would just see a green color on the horizontal display. Also notice, you can see the dark black, well, I guess it's just one shade of black, but black triangles there, the blind spots of the current vision system, uh, the obstacle avoidance is improved to 360 degrees with the radar obstacle avoidance. So you can see that carries over into those previously uh, shown blind spots there when we have the radar turned on. Sure, a couple of videos here. You can see we have a pole in front of the aircraft that is not being picked up uh, by the vision system. Uh, just due to it being uh, so small. Turn the radar obstacle avoidance on, and that is indeed detected. Quick side-by-side -side screenshot here as well. You can see on the left side without radar, on the right side with the radar. Next up here, showing an example with some power lines. Once again, you can see flying at the power lines with the radar disabled, we are able to continuously approach the power lines. After turning the radar on though, you can see power lines are gonna show up on the display and are not able to fly forward. So just key concept here to remember when we're talking about the radar here, it's a detect system and it's going to help the aircraft stop with any detections but it is not going to autonomously fly the drone around any type of obstacles, and it's not going to be helping the drone with positioning data to stay steady or anything in that realm. That's specifically for detecting obstacles, uh, so the drone is not going to be running into those based on the braking distance. So once again, power lines you can see on the right side with the radar picked up, without the radar not picked up on the left side.
And then final one, just a quick example of night flight here. You can see the vision sensors are not working. But here when we take off with the aircraft, can see the radar display has gotten quite full in regards to the scanning millimeter wave radar here. So on left side, once again, at night without our radar, on the right side uh, with the radar on, uh, you can see a little, little detection in the green there uh, with the TOF sensors. Uh, but here on the right side with the radar, really improved capability at night when those vision sensors aren't able to be functioning. Detective, detection specifications, as I talked about, 360 degrees horizontally around the radar, 60 degrees in the vertical direction, 45 degrees in the upper. So you can see kind of go out in a cone shape uh, from the aircraft. I guess the triangle is more accurate there. But you can see the detection distance from 5 to 98 feet. So it's not going to detect stuff that's just a couple feet away from the aircraft, but starting at 5 out to 98 uh, due to the detection range continuing to expand away from the aircraft. And then just realize the effective detection distance varies depending on the size and material of the obstacle. So if it's a strong reflective object, such as a building, looking at around 98 feet, when it's a weak reflective object, such as dry pre tree branches, looking at around 49 feet. Obstacle sensing cannot be depended on for areas outside of the effective detection distance. Some additional specs here, maximum speed when radar obstacle avoidance is in use, 22.3 miles an hour. Uh, can add the weight, to the payload configuration to determine effect on flight time. is isn't exactly a linear correlation here, but looking at about three, four minutes reduction in flight time with the CSM. You can see dimensions, operating frequency, and power consumption. And then the unit does have an IP rating of 45, so it fits in line with the aircraft or operations uh, where you may be encountering uh, weather, not bright, sunny day. Some additional considerations. If you're in ADDI mode, the radar obstacle avoidance will be disabled. Don't block the radar with any accessories that you're attaching to the aircraft. Metal parts of the radar may become hot, so don't touch the radar itself or use caution when powering on or immediately after the flight. Keep the protective cover of the radar module clean. You can use soft damp cloth, t shirt. Uh, but just make sure to air dry before using it again. So key takeaways here, you can see the unit screwed in and plugged in on the right side. Can be used with the Matrice 300 RTK only. It's going to improve situational awareness by detecting thin obstacles, wires, power lines, branches, other items can be used at night when the vision system is not functional. 360 degrees horizontal, so takes care of what was previously blind spots for the aircraft and has an IP45 rating.